Well, today I'm at my local produce market and I'm going to go inside and I'm going to get my friend to help me pick out some squash for my video. Hey y'all, this is my friend Jackson, and he helps me when I come to this local market. So he's gonna help me now to pick out some squash for my video for tonight. Let's go, Jackson. Let's do it. All right, come on. Open. All right. You pick out what you think is the good ones, Jackson. Let's pick them out together. Here. No small, big. Oh, we want medium size. Medium. That's perfect. That's perfect. Medium. That one. Yeah, we want some that size. How many you need? Oh, about eight. 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 Mimi's Kitchen on this fall day. Y'all, well, I'm trying to pretend it's fall, but the temperature outside tells me otherwise. But technically, it is fall. <laughs> and so, we're going to say, it is fall, <laughs> because it is. Um, today, we are going to talk about squash. Y'all, squash is our favorite vegetable in my family. And I cook it just in a multitude of ways. I fry it, I stew it, I fritter it, I casserole it. I do everything you can imagine with squash. And for you people who have gardens that have squash in it, you're doing the same thing because the squash seems to produce forever. And so you end up with a lot of it. Well, this is another way that I have learned to, to cook our squash. And I do think it has become one of our favorites because everybody cleans their plate when we have squash cooked this way. Instructions are in Sunday Lunch at Mimi's. It's on page 35. And y'all, it is just instructions. So this is something very simple to do. And I don't think you'll have any trouble remembering it at all. Now, the first thing you do is to wash your squash. And y'all, I have just a little scrubber here and I just scrub them real good and make sure that they are nice and clean. Okay, one of the first things that we're going to do, hello, is to set our oven on 350 degrees. And then we're going to start a pot of water because it needs to come to a boil. So it can be getting hot while we are getting ready to cut up the squash. So that would be the first thing that you would do. That gets you kind of ready for the procedure. Then we're going to cut up our squash and I'll show you how we're going to do that. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to cut them lengthwise like this. And y'all, you want them a little bit thick, but not quite that thick. So let's cut that off. All right, now you see that? Mm -hmm. So we'll kind of cut that so that they will lay flat. Now, you don't need to watch me cut up all these squash. So, so we, each one gets cut into maybe... Each one gets cut into maybe three pieces. That's a good point, KK. All right, so it depends really kind of on the thickness of the squash that you're using. So, now y'all, I'm not going to throw that away. I'm going to cook those later on. <laughs> so I didn't want you to think I'm being wasteful here. All right. Oh, y'all, these are going to be so good. You're going to be fixing this for your family. Okay, we'll cut up the rest of them and we'll be right back. Got all the squash cook, cut up now. And our water is boiling. So what we're going to do, we're going to just put our squash in there. And y'all, we're going to let them boil, oh, I don't know, four to five minutes. We'll check them. We just want them slightly tender. We don't want them mushy now. But we'll put them, we'll, we'll start, we'll check them and, and see how 
they are moving along. So now that we've been there, the water's got to come back to a boil again. So we'll just let that take its course <laughs> and then we'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> All right, it's been about four minutes since it actually came back to a boil. So I wanna show you now how you can test it. Y'all go to the outer edge of the, um, of the squash slice and see, see how tender that already is. So that is all that they need to cook. So we go cut that off. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to put them on a cookie sheet and I have put some foil on the cookie sheet the easy cleanup <laughs> more than anything. So we'll take these up and then we'll show you. Let me just show you how I do mine. I have this wonderful, <laughs> whatever you call it, and it drains, drains them while it's, while you're taking them out. Oh, y'all, it's great. And we're just gonna put all of these all on here. You're gonna love this, I'm just gonna tell you. Your family's gonna love it. It'll just be something different. Now I wanna show you this water. Now y'all see, there's very little squash stuff in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So we didn't cook them to death. Okay, okay, that's right. So that, that way we know we didn't cook them to death. Y'all, aren't those beautiful? Now, you know how much I love butter. So a lot of times I melt a stick of butter and then I take a spoon and I just drizzle it over the top of these things. Oh my goodness, y'all. Now it doesn't say that in the instructions, but listen, use your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of you people, you know, you cook by the seat of your pants anyway. And so now, I use this seasoning. It's called Jane's Crazy Mixed Up Salt. Now, you may have a seasoning that you like, and hey, that, that's fine. But what I do is I just sprinkle this all over the top of my, of my squash. Okay, y'all, we've got our crazy salt now on here, and I have sh shredded my own cheese. Now, you can use the cheese in the bag if you want to. But I'm just going to tell you right now, it's better if you grate your own. And you know, that's all, almost always the case. All right, we're going to cover these good. Oh, y'all. KK's mouth is watering. This mm -hmm. is her favorite way that mm -hmm. I cook squash. So guess who's going to be our taste tester today? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. And y'all, she's the birthday girl today. Mm -hmm. Oh. We are blessed with September birthday. Okay, happy dance. <laughs> 350 degrees, y'all, we've heated it. Now, we're going to just put our squash in here on the bottom rack. <laughs> and we're going to leave it just until the cheese melts. Now, we're not trying to cook the squash because now they're already cooked. So, it's not gonna take but, oh, I don't know, four or five minutes We'll keep watching it. Now, don't walk away and leave this, y'all, because that cheese will burn. What I'll do is I'll just wait just a couple of minutes, and then I'll check the oven to see um, how the squash, how the cheese is doing, because <laughs> the squash are fine. They're getting acquainted with one another in there. <laughs> right, y'all, it's been about three minutes. Now, see how that cheese is nice and melted? That's really all you want is for the cheese to be melted. Mm -hmm. So, they're ready. <laughs> I'll take them up. Ah, oh, look at that cheese. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this is pretty to serve, too. KK, we, you can be the taste tester here in a minute. That'll make her happy. Oh, y'all, isn't that beautiful? That'd be so pretty on your buffet. Okay, y'all, we have taste tested, both KK and myself, mm -hmm. and we agree. Yes, this is still one of our favorite ways to fix squash. Mm -hmm. Now, y'all, I should have stuck a candle in one of these things since today's her birthday. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Over the weekend, her son and daughter-in-law 
gave her an Apple Watch for her birthday. Now, y'all, she was so excited. And, in fact, she even called me and told me, she said, you're not going to believe what I got for my birthday. And when she told me an Apple Watch, I thought, oh, how wonderful, you know. So, yesterday when we got to church, I looked at KK and I said, well, why didn't you wear your Apple Watch today? She said, oh, my goodness. She said, I hadn't programmed it yet, and I was so scared it would go off in church and make some kind of crazy noise or something. She said, it would disrupt the whole service. <laughs> so, we got a good laugh off of that. And, y'all, then it took me back in my memory. And, of course, you know, so many things remind me of my daddy. And a lot of times when we used to go to visit them, one of the things that the children always got so excited about, my daddy would always draw a watch on their arms. And they just loved it. And y'all, he told them, he said, now when people ask you what time it is, you tell them it's a hair past a freckle. <laughs> that was his favorite expression about a watch. Now y'all, they loved it, but I'm gonna tell you what, it took me just about a whole week to get that watch washed off of their arm <laughs> once he put it on there because the ballpoint pens they used to make, they were what we call indelible. Mm -hmm. I'm sure y'all have heard that expression before. And so it stayed on there for a long time. But y'all, memories are just wonderful. And um, I, I think we all cherish those. I thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you do. Y'all, you're my friends, and I just love each one of you. I hope you have a good rest of the day. Enjoy the beauty that God has created for us. And everybody remember, shine for Jesus.